What makes your mom or dad the coolest? So dad owns about 7 to 8 restaurants all over Southeast Asia, but he's based in Indonesia. He basically forced me to work when I turned 14 but I, now 16 going on 17, enjoy working in the restaurants with him. Anyway, last August, he asked me if I wanted to work behind the bar. So I did, and it's really fun. That's one thing. One day, after work, I was working in one of the restaurants, and he was working in another one. It was about 12 a.m., just as the restaurant was closing. He came up to the restaurant I was working in, and my mom was there, because she had a dinner party thing, and she has to drive us back home, instead of our normal driver. My dad and I haven't eaten for about 12 hours, because we were both working. He suddenly asked me if I wanted to get pizzas from Domino's, which was only around the corner of the kitchen in the restaurant, closes at 11 p.m. So we did. My mom got frustrated, but my dad and I got late night pizzas after work at 1 a.m. It was fun. Both my parents and other family members were very poor when growing up. They couldn't afford proper food, clothes, education, etc. They were from Ecuador and lived in the poorer parts of that country. They couldn't even afford to finish middle school because by that point it wasn't free anymore and you had to pay to get in. This led to both of my parents aspire to become citizens of America, to purse their dreams of and not let their families suffer any longer. We now live in America, and my dad now owns a successful construction business, and my mom works at a 5 star nail salon. What makes my parents so cool is that they come back home with their paychecks, knowing that they're not going to starve and suffer like they used to. They started off at rock bottom and managed to make it all the way up here. I'm so proud of them. My mom found out that a bunch of us were going to go to Ping one Friday night. She hadn't said anything bad about it, like telling us not to, so she told us to come by the house before going anywhere. I was just like oh no, so we go by my house, and my mom immediately gets up and says go outside. I knew it was late enough dad was in bed, he went into work around 4am. So we go outside, mom goes to the trunk of her car, and opens it, and there is a case of TP in it, then she tell us who she wants us to hit. It was the supervisor of the school lunchroom where mom worked, we all knew the lady as we all went to that school. She was wonderful, a real prankster in her own right. But for mom to buy the whole case of TP for us to use, it was wonderful. Single parent dad died, when I was 7. She was and still is everyone's mom. A couple of things stand out personally though. I failed my final exam at school. We have it set up that you go to school to get your results. I walked home in tears. The door was locked. She opened the door, looked at me, and didn't need to say anything. She hugged me, gave me a cigarette, and asked if I wanted a drink. It was just before 12 midday. Once I had calmed down a bit, we spoke about my options. It was a huge lesson in try again. Then, the day I got married, she told me something to the effect of if it doesn't work out, you always have a home with me, it didn't work out, my kids and I stay with her. My dad has always had a call me, whenever you need to be picked up, no questions asked policy. He is among the most open minded people I have ever known, he says he is this way with me, because his parents my grandparents weren't with him. And my mom will research till the 23rd results page on Google, if that's what it takes to help me out with any problem I have. It's very impressive. I love em both to death. 7 year old you mommy I got a paper cut. Momo it's okay honey. 1058th result mom honey, you have cancer. But really your parents sound like they know the best way to raise a child. Dad was still pretty wild and crazy when I was a little kid, and it landed him in jail. But even though we were separated by that he still wrote to me and kept me in his heart all that time. Despite the whirlwind of circumstances at the time he made, having a relationship with me his priority, and I still value it years later. He cold just as easily made his imprisonment an excuse to forget all about me and go back to being a party animal with his buddies, but he used that time to pick up the pieces and be a wonderful father to me. My mum is the most amazing human I know, she'll do anything for anyone in need and she'll constantly put herself out to see that I get. She's been ill for a while, but she'll still go out of her way to make sure my grandpa has food in his fridge, his flat is clean 
his clothes washed, and ironed and shall sort out his meds, and make sure he knows, if he has to be anywhere within the week and shall never moan about doing so even when she's constantly tired. You have to do something pretty bad for her to dislike you, or turn her back on you. My dad has been in a wheelchair, since I was about three, so I really don't remember him ever walking. That being said, even though his disabled has always rolled himself ragged, and strained his bank account to make sure, that my brother and I always had everything we wanted, he still goes out of his way, to do things for us, even though we've grown and gotten our own jobs, and have been able to provide for ourselves. Though I would love to be able to see him walk or remember him doing so. I won't trade what we have for the world. My mom raised my sister and I for 21 years, always made sure we ate, had a roof over our heads. We were a bit spoiled, but taught very young to never expect anything. My mom is troubled, but definitely beat obesity, and has lost 300 pounds over a course set of time. She still works hard despite her disabilities and common mental battles. But she's a stubborn, hard-working individual who knows how to be a mother and friend if needed. My dad is strict, but he's also very sweet, and affectionate he also skills like a girl, when he sees a cute baby, and my mom's my best friend, we can just sit for hours, and make each other laugh. Both of my parents always knew when to be strict, and when to be sweet, just truly good parents and people, humble, giving, grateful, never entitled always supportive of hobbies and interests the fact that my mom is friendly with anyone she treats everybody the same doesn't matter if you are a child adult cat etc she will always greet you with hi honey she is so sweet that everyone told me that they want to be their son daughter she understands memes and jokes but she's also so intelligent sometimes she can be more childish than me my mother late 60s adores marvel films and Star Wars. Whenever there's a new film, she's always messaging me asking when we're going to see it, because dad doesn't care for them, and she hates seeing them alone. We went to Endgame a couple of weeks back, and ran into an old high school friend. He couldn't believe that she was the one who was super keen. My mom was always honest with me. She didn't shelter me from things, she had her opinions, but she would show me both sides and let me decide. She encouraged me to be myself, and not to stifle myself. She helped me be comfortable in my own skin, and become my own person and I really wish I would have thanked her more than I did. Dodno always found it cool, that my mom walked from Mexico to the U.S. specifically to Dallas I forgot how long it took I think she said she walked for two days only taking few breaks imagine walking that long, and she only had two gallons of water, and she had to share it with my aunt I can only run maximum two miles and am dying. Mama makes sure to cook my favorite dish, when she knows I had a bad day just last night. Papa did a coverage on a pop event and I'm a fan of one girl group in attendance he video called me, so I can watch, while he works they can be the most annoying and goofiest, but I'm genuinely grateful for the both of them. My mum got a stable job she hated to support raising two kids, and now that we are both out of the house, quit that job after 20 years, to pursue her dream of running a food truck. It's been a few months now and she's thriving. So proud of her for finally following her dreams. My dad, deployed to Desert Storm, used to work on the SR-71 Blackbirds, and if it wasn't for being in the Air Force, he wouldn't have met my mom and I wouldn't have been born in the coolest place ever. SR-71 Blackbirds. That's so cool. My mom and dad took in troubled teen relatives who needed a stable home. They were great to me, and my bro as well as to cousins. Both cousins have grown to be successful and happy as adults, and they both loved my parents like their own. My mum tried her best to care so much about my nerdy interests, even when she has no clue what I'm talking about lol. We would be in the car and before driving, she would ask if I checked for pocket stops to avoid me missing them. Left an alcoholic, abusive husband to raise three kids alone. Fought and beat cancer while struggling with lupus. Still manages to be there constantly for her adult children and toddler grandchild. She's truly my hero. My dad is a stuntman in movies in a bell, Black Panther Big Little Lies, and more. He friends with tons of celebrities. I think has amazing. When I was little, I actually thought he was a superhero. 
One time at school I faked, having a headache to go home, and when my dad picked me up he could tell I was faking it, but took me home anyway, and we got ice cream one of my favorite memories of. My mom and I were immigrants. Despite having PTSD, she single-handedly got us out of the slums, and into a nice house next to one of the top 10 schools in my state. My mom used to work at Honeywell, and she made guidance system components that flew on the Mars Science Laboratory that's the spacecraft that landed the Curiosity rover. My dad used to volunteer at the city's library, and he got many kids into reading by using a character made by himself the book Grandpa. He also wrote a song for me. Mum has the most cheerful, hearty, loud laugh that you can hear from two rooms across. It's the sort of laugh that makes you laugh with her. I absolutely love it. They housed me for the past 18 years and never asked me to pay rent. All I had to do was work around the house and make sure I cleaned stuff. I got zero in math twice both time they laughed it off saying I will do better next time I'm really good with chemistry, but I absolutely hate math. My dad can tell the One Direction members apart from their voices alone. It's neat that he took an interest in something I cared about for a while. My mother has always supported me in being a unique person and my father has always been charismatic and a grand old time to be around. You ever get dropped off to elementary school on the back of motorbiker by your mom? All the kids thought I was cool because of her. My parents were directors at CS companies from 30 to 65. I was always incredibly impressed by them. My mom can find anything in the world except for where did they go wrong with me, and my dad can go invisible for 12 years. My dad has a lot of cool motorbikes, and likes it, when I come out, and help him with them. I love him. They raised my brothers and I right. Also support and love us, no matter what point they are pretty awesome. My dad keeps me on his unlimited data plan, even though we haven't lived together for 5 years. They can turn invisible. They have been invisible for 4 days straight. Wonder where they are. My dad is so cool he left for cigarettes 15 years ago and didn't come back. They cut up fruit and bring it to me on a plate without me ever asking. Insulated caskets top of the line spared no expense. My ack is pretty cold, keeps the urn equally cool. My mum's cool because she does lots of ice. Nothing. They are very far from being cool. This is my dad's weekend outfit of choice. Not cool yet, maybe when they're dead. Usually lower temperatures will do the trick. One time I broke both my arms and thieve been in the freezer for a few days. My father taught me martial arts. My dad got high with the Beatles. She raised me without the other.